So what you need, uh, have this ready. So obviously in order to figure out your withholdings, you would need the pay stubs for the job. Why the pay stubs? Because you don't yet have the W-2s because the idea with the withholdings is you're trying to figure out the withholdings before you get the W-2 because you're trying to pay your taxes before the end of the year, before the tax return is due to avoid getting hit with the stick of penalties and interest. So other income info. So if you have gig work like YouTube income, self-employed income, you're selling, you're selling ETF, you know, some kind of digital currency stuff or whatever you're doing, then you need to include that as well. Cause, and then most recent tax return is something that would also be useful to help, you know, answer the questions on it as well. Your information isn't saved. So this is not something that the IRS should be tracking and holding on to. It's supposed to be a tool to help you to calculate your withholdings. Uh, so it's not like a permanent type of thing. It's a, it's an estimator tool. So how, it, so how it works, use this tool to estimate your federal income tax withholding, see how your refund take home pay or tax due are affected by withholding amount, choose an estimate withholding uh, amount that works for you. So obviously the goal, if you, if you go into there and you say, how much do I need to be withheld? Then they're going to adjust the withholdings. If you have to withhold more to pay the appropriate amount of tax to avoid getting hit with the stick of penalties and interest for paying too little tax, then obviously that means that the checks that you're going to be receiving are going to be lower because you're the, the, they're going to force your employer to take the money away from you before you receive it in your paycheck. Right. So that, that's that's the idea. So the, the trade off is to say, do I do I want to try to have more of a cushion to avoid getting hit with the stick of penalties and interest, possibly getting a larger refund or shooting for a larger refund to be safer, in which case I'm going to have less money from paycheck to paycheck because they're going to withhold more of it. Or do I want to really cut it, cut it, uh, cut it tight so that I can try to get exactly what I think my tax will be to try to maximize the amount that I'm going to get from paycheck to paycheck by reducing the withholdings to as low as I can get it without getting hit too hard with the penalties. All right. Uh, recommended by IRS. Also, we have the, the forms. So remember that this could be really useful to follow along with the course, especially if you don't have access to software. The, the IRS website has all the forms and all the instructions. So irs.gov, irs.gov, any form that we are looking at, such as the 1040, you can just type in form 1040 or go to the forms, look up the forms, look up the uh, schedules. It'll give you the forms and the instructions related uh, to those forms. Huge resource. Also, when you're doing research, it's a great resource. And we'll talk more about the the, 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 the types of things that you might go to for tax questions. But one of the first places you might go would be the instructions for the 1040. So if you're saying, should this be included in income or should this be uh, a, a deduction or something like that? One place you might start going is to the instructions, although that's not like formally the tax code, right? It, but it could lead you, instructions could then lead you to where you need to go uh, from from there and, and depends how complex the question is in terms of how much more detail you need to get. In other words, the instructions are usually uh, created in more like uh, common language, less like legalese kind of language, although still kind of legalese to a degree, but less than the actual income tax code, right? But if you have to do more research then it might take you, it might show you where other publications are and whatnot and possibly to the code itself. If you have more nuanced questions you need to drill down on, we'll talk more about that later.